Hi everybody, it's Fab Kylie here from Wellman Global, the leading network for female startups and solopreneurs. So listen, today's Friday here in Australia and I just thought we'd have a little bit of fun on Friday. I thought we might have a bit of a, a breakthrough Fridays talking about a limiting beliefs. One of the things that I'm really passionate about when it comes to empowering women is helping women break through their limiting beliefs because I know that myself personally, I had so many. I'm going to share with you a story about uh, nearly 25 years ago. I attended what I thought was an investment seminar, uh, rocked up, you know, it was, and for about the first two days, the guy was doing a lot of mindset instruction, which was, you know, I mean, all of that's beneficial and it's great, but he started um, teaching us. He said, yeah, I'm going to teach you how to break through a pine board. And I'm sitting in my chair thinking, this guy's lost the plot, you know, he's a nutter. And as he hopped up, so he picked up a piece of wood and showed it to us, grabbed another piece and showed it to us, grabbed another piece and showed it to us, giving us the impression that we were going to have to break through like three, four, five pieces of, of pine. And I'm just sitting in my chair looking for the closest exit because I'm thinking, this guy's tripping, there's no way in the world I'm going to do this. But what he was trying to actually teach us was, whether it's investment or being in business, um, 80 or 90% of being in business is all about your mindset because you're going to have challenges along the way. And the important thing is to be able to recover from those challenges and that's where it comes back to mindset. So a very valuable lesson I learned that day as I stepped up, I did actually end up breaking through the pine board, but it was that if I believe that I can do something, someone educates me how to do it and then I take action on that. There isn't anything in life that I can't have a go at and get a result. See, I'd grown up with five brothers and unconsciously I'd set these you know, glass ceiling barriers on myself because my father sent uh, my five brothers to a private school and sent the two girls to a public school. Because why would you spend all that money educating the girls when they're just going to grow up, get married and have children? You know, of course, old, you know, old day thinking, but that, that was the mindset and the mentality in those days. So unconsciously, I had put all of these limiting beliefs on myself around what I could do, what I could be, what I could have or what I could achieve. So when I broke through that pine void, it was a really, really empowering um, just such an empowering moment for me and it's obviously serves me to this day. So I've got two helpers with me today. I've got negative Nancy and positive Polly. So I know that when it comes to what we think in our heads, we've got this little battle going on. We, we know what we should be thinking, but all these thought, negative thoughts come up. So today's limiting belief that I want to really um, share with you today or break through, help you break through, is that thought that it has to be perfect before you can begin, before you can start. So um, Gary V shared a quick video this morning, you know, talking about often we want to have three complete successes without any failures. And that's just not real life. If we stop judging ourselves and just have a go and think, look, you know, I'm going to try 10 times. And if seven out of those 10 times, you know, are failures, but three I succeed, then I've done really, really well. So don't listen to, it has to be perfect. Otherwise you can't start. You can't start your business. It's like, well, no, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just going to start it and have a go. So the second thing comes down to, you know, before I can launch a product or a service, it has to be perfect. I mean, take Steve Jobs, for example. He didn't wait for the iPhone to be perfect, the Apple iPhone or the Apple Mac computer. They actually launched these things when they were still in beta mode. They were still in testing mode. And, the, you know, if you've ever seen, if you haven't seen the movie about Steve Jobs, go and watch it. It's just very inspirational in terms of things not having to be perfect before you actually go into a launch mode because you'll make them perfect. The idea is you'll perfect them along the way. And then the other thing is, you know, it has to be perfect or I have to know everything that I'm going to do before I actually go and tell anyone. It's a great opportunity to share your vision with people. Like if you've got an idea, I mean, obviously they need to be safe people. They need to be people that you have confidence in and that, and that will keep, especially if it's a new product um, or a new service and you're wanting to, you know, have some IP there. But don't be afraid of sharing your vision with people because you never know who might want to come on board, who might want to support you, who might have to have some ideas for you, who might even, I don't know, who can give you feedback in any way. So that limiting belief that says, oh, I've got to wait to be perfect. Listen to Positive Polly says, no, you don't have to wait to be perfect. Just start. And as you start, you can actually perfect it along the way. 
So listen, great to have you here today. And uh, if you'd like to learn more about Royal Moon Globe and what we do, just have a look in the comments below. We'll put our website there. But great to have you here today and I hope you have a great weekend, relaxing, chilling and having a catch up with family and friends. Bye for now.